for coming out today. I'm gonna say thank you, Ken, for taking the lead and organizing this event. I am so amazed because this only came together in the last three days. And you know, to actually see the solidarity of everybody that came out, um, it's amazing. And we know we're all here because we know what's happening to the indigenous groups in Amazon, and we're so thankful that we all came out here today. We're going to be holding, I'm not sure if everybody knows about the plans, but we're going to be trying to hold space here as much as possible. So I do encourage that all of us kind of, you know, mingle with each other, build community with each other, speak with each other, you know, make sure that we know a couple of each other's needs, exchange our numbers, because, you know, we're going through a really hard time globally. You know, this is, the Amazon is, like, I'm a climate activist, the Amazon is, is, is one of the important parts of our ecosystem in the, in the world and you know we, we are not only are the, the indigenous groups in, in, in Brazil you know struggling for life like standing up for life all of us are and we all need to be standing up at this point in time because we have reached a point you know crisis where we're really fighting for our lives and it's do or die at this moment because the Amazon is a key tipping point it's at risk of a tipping point in our ecosystem. Once we reach or reach that tipping point, we are going to head towards a point where it is no going back. Things will not go back to, the, to normal and things will start cascading and chaos will ensue. We've all seen the fires, we've all seen the floods all over the world and it's going to get much worse and we cannot let this happen. What's happening tomorrow in Brazil is that the Supreme Court will actually actually be voting on this bill which is called Marco Tempora. Some of my friends here who are Brazilians will actually know it much better but what this puts what this means is the, the rights of the indigenous people to their land will be taken away from them. This is a genocide and we cannot let that happen. I'm going to read a couple of things that Bolsonaro has said outright out and open which are completely disgusting. Right? One of the things that he said was the mistake of the Brazilian dictatorship was to torture and not kill. Any indigenous reserve that I can reduce in size, I will do so. <laughs> Where there is indigenous land, there is wealth underneath it. The Indians do not speak out language, they do not have money, they do not have culture. This is an important hearing person. This is genocide. It is disgusting. It is outright destructive capitalism. This is the way of, this is the mentality and the thinking that we need to get away from because it is destroying the earth. The indigenous people of the world, they only make up 5% of the world's population, but they take care of 80% of our biodiversity and our ecology. We, without them, we would not have everything that we live on. Right? We need to start having a better relationship with the earth. We need to recognize that we actually rely on the earth for our water. We rely on the earth for air. We rely on the earth for, for, for to live, basically. And if we forget that, and if we actually prioritize our, our, you know, our, our wants and our goals on materialistic things, we are not heading in the right direction. We are. We have reached a point of no return. We will reach the point of no return, and we need to be letting indigenous groups lead the fight. We need to. We need to let them lead the resistance because we are reaching a point of a catastrophic outcome. Like if we continue to let this happen, it will not. Yeah, I'm almost speechless. I, I can't believe how we've even reached this point here that we are even having to, to fight for this. This is absolutely ridiculous. And we, for us folks that are in the city, we need to be we need to do the things that we need to do. We need to be protesting at the banks that are funding deforestation. We need to be protesting at the insurance companies that are insuring these corporations. We can do what we can actually do this from the cities that we live in. And um, I'll just stand in there, but I, you know, all of us here, we get on the mic, feel comfortable. I went off script, 
you know, I mean, when I'm without the script, I encourage you to do so as well because we're going to be here for hours and all of us should actually be, you know, feel, feel the courage to speak up because we need to be fighting this fight together. Woo! Yes. Woo! Thank you! Thank you.